One of the recent ones also is uh, we've got a problem with eggs. I don't know if you know this, but it's there's an EU directive which should click in on, on the 1st of January 2012, which says that um, we can't use battery uh, facilities anymore. That, that They've redesigned the cages to make them much bigger. They don't call them battery cages anymore because they're bigger and they're much, much more friendly to the, to the chickens that live in them. Now, that was going to be imposed on the 1st of January 2012 and it's been on the cars for nearly 10 years. So everybody's had plenty of time to adapt and do it. So certain people have because of this deadline. The Britons have all done it. So everybody in the UK conforms. They've all got the bigger cages, which aren't classified as battery cages. And the chickens are much happier. And presumably the eggs are slightly better as well. But there's a hell of a lot of investment been done. And one particular firm I can think of in Shropshire have invested £10 million to do this. So it's, it's no joke. And it does put up the cost of eggs by about 15 pence a dozen. However... They made these regulations, the Brits supplied them, the Germans did, most of the Scandinavians did, the Dutch did, the Danish did, but the Spanish never even looked at it. Half the French didn't care, the Romanians and the Bulgarians wouldn't even know what time of day it is, never mind read a, read a directive. The Italians haven't complied and it isn't going to happen. So what's going to happen on the 1st of January? Foreign cheap eggs from battery cages are going to be coming into this country, undercutting our own product because we're complying with the European Parliament's directive. So we are being essentially forced out of business. These people have got high overdrafts because they've had to borrow money to comply and then they're going to lose the market so they won't be able to sell the eggs. So some of them will go bust. And these cheap, nasty eggs from, from battery cages across these other countries that are less humane and haven't, haven't applied the rules will come into this country. I've suggested we should put a skull and crossbones on those eggs to make sure people can differentiate between them. Sorry, I've had two questions already. I was trying to get a bit further in, but go for it. What was it? So what's yours? Uh, I was wondering, are, if they do not comply, uh, what sort of comeback is there on, on them? Is there well, that's what I'm saying. The European Parliament, although they've made the legislation and the regulation, are now saying, after all this time, 10 years, and everybody's complied, they're saying, oh, it doesn't really matter. We won't bother. We'll tr we won't police it properly. So the Spanish will be able to do, keep going as, a, as they have done and as they are doing. Incidentally, there's a lot of salmonella problems in Spanish eggs as well, so watch out for those. That isn't a smear. That is true. The statistics are showing it. Whereas the Germans have haven't got any salmonella and we haven't either. So there's a discrepancy in the quality, but there's also this problem with the battery cages. So they're not, comp they're not complying to the regulations, but the Commission aren't going to do anything about it. And it asks the question, why do we bother? Why do we bother complying with EU regulations when at the end of the day they're toothless and they don't enforce. Uh, but that's one of the things that has always annoyed me. It seems that our Parliament, uh, they're just not. They're just going on with it. They, they never seem to... They're gutless. Yes. Yeah. What they should do is put the foot down and say, OK, if that's the case, we will not allow eggs into this country that don't comply. It should be the, yeah, it should be the Westminster Parliament. I agree. And that's what I've already said. Absolutely. Can you not veto it in the European Parliament? Pardon? Can you not veto that? Well, look, I've, I, I voted against it in the European Parliament. Insufficient numbers in there. In fact, I, together with one other MEP, brought forward a special bill into the parliament for MEPs to sign saying that the thing should be enforced because so many people have spent so much money upgrading and I did that but it failed because not enough people you see if you've got all the Spanish and the Bulgarians and the Romanians and all the Italians and everybody else who doesn't comply they're never going to sign something like that the countries do not comply all they get is a slap on the wrist and do what they like yeah, it's, it's, it's just the same as, it's like, correct, it's like the French overfished, the French overfished in our, in, basically in our form.
That's right. So are you going to ask a question as well? Should we get rid of some... Were you going to ask a question? I read uh, a couple of months ago that Tesco and Asda Walmart actually said they will not import those eggs. But, you know... <coughs> You can't enforce it, can you? No, but that's just two companies. And also, you've got a whole range of other problems with egg products because a lot of eggs are imported into the country, not as eggs, but as egg powder, to go into industry, to make cakes, to do all sorts of things. And you don't know where that's come from. But it shouldn't come from battery cages if, if that legislation had been... Uh, had been followed because all of EU chickens should all comply, you see. But it doesn't, it's, it's a failure. So, gentlemen over there, yeah? I think you only need a rumour to enforce it. A few months ago, there was the rumour that, was it Spanish cucumbers or tomatoes? Yeah. Causing, um, yes. In, in Germany. Germany, yeah. And they decimated the Spanish crop instantly. That's right. That's all you've got to do with the eggs. What well, let's try and do it then, decimated. because it's going to happen on the 1st of January, and I'd like to see, I'd like to see what happens there. Press.